hello you guys welcome back um again i miss you guys so much and i can't believe we are almost done you guys are almost third graders i cannot believe that Ugh. I miss you guys so much. Anyways, today we are going to be doing Bible Lesson 135, and this one's a little different. I don't have any sort of story or anything to read, but I wanted to talk you through your pages for today. So please make sure you have page 197 and 198 on hand, and we're gonna go through and talk about this together. All right, so the first part on um, the very top of page 197, it says a heavenly home. All right, so they want you to read John chapter 14, verses two through three. And it says, Jesus is making a special home in heaven for each Christian. God's word tells us many things about heaven, but it does not tell us everything about what it's going to be like. All right, so they want you first to draw a mansion right here, okay? Look at these pictures, maybe um, take some reference points from some of these. Now a mansion, is that a really teeny tiny house or is that a big grand house with many rooms, okay? The Bible tells us heaven's gonna be like a mansion. There's many rooms that he has waiting for us, waiting for those who believe in Jesus Christ, okay? Then down below, it says, what would you like to know about heaven? Write some questions about heaven. Now, again, no one knows exactly what heaven is gonna be like. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of questions of what heaven will be like. I know we often have conversations in our house at dinner time about certain things maybe you wonder about heaven. So write some of your questions here, okay? Then afterwards, turn it over. Here is going to be some practice with, with looking through your Bibles, finding different books of the Bible. So here, remember, use your table of contents to help you out with this. Um, the first part, um, let's see, let me read the instructions first. You can find references quickly by checking the contents page in your Bible to see where books are found. All right, so first part, Old Testament in this blue arrow here is Genesis through First Chronicles. The middle part, again, of the Old Testament is um, Second Chronicles through Ezekiel. And then the last part of the Old Testament, kind of this um, um, bluish green, is Daniel through Malachi, the books of the Bible. Then moving on to New Testament in the orange, the first part of the New, New Testament, they've divided from Matthew through Galatians. The middle part, Ephesians and Philemon. Last part, Hebrews and Revelation. So what they would like you to do is you're gonna fill out this chart. Write O if the book is found in the Old Testament and N if the book is found in the New Testament. Draw a fish to show which part of the Old Testament the book may be found. Um, excuse me, the Old or New Testament the book may be found. The first one is done for you. So for example, now these aren't going in order, okay? So the book of the Bible here, number one, Jonah. That is found in the Old Testament. So they wrote an O for Old Testament under New or Old. Then what part of the Old Testament is Jonah found? It's found in that last section. It's found in Daniel through Malachi. So then they put the fish under the last column, okay? So you're gonna go through and do that for each of these. All right, now, that is it. That is a quick little lesson video for you today for Bible. Um, I hope you're doing well. Miss you guys. And yeah, be thinking, be dreaming about heaven. It's going to be a wonderful place. And store up those questions. Um, talk it over with your family. Those are great conversations to have with family and friends about what is heaven going to be like. Dream about it. All right. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.